going on YouTube? This is Wayne with Wayne's Fish World. I'm actually in California right now, but I've got this video uploaded already. That way you guys can get a video while I'm gone. Today we'll be talking about another fish species, and that fish species is none other than the beautiful, one and only, Electric Blue Jack Dempsey's. Guys, the Electric Blue Jack Dempsey, as you can tell, is an absolutely beautiful fish. This fish is actually a morph, meaning you can't find this fish in the wild. It's deprived from regular Jack Dempsey's. When they were breeding them, they thought it was like a runt or a, a mutant fish, and they just tossed them away. But in reality, people saw the beauty in a Electric Blue Jack Dempsey's, just like the Electric Blue Rams. It's a morph in the regular genes. Um, these fish do stay a little smaller than the regular Jack Dempsey's. Jack Dempsey's usually get about 10 inches. These fish get about 8 inches. Um, the male dorsal fin is going to be a little more pointy. The male is also going to have more spots on it as well. Um, but keeping this fish, it is a burrower. It comes from the Amazon. Well, its ancestors do. You want to keep it in a sandy environment. It will uproot plants. So it will nip on some plants too. If keeping it in a plant tank, you need to have hardy plants that way like amazon swords anubias java fern stuff like that that can take a beating this fish is a beautiful fish it can take some tank mates some tank mates should be fish same size or similar size to the fish itself you don't want to put this fish in with fish that are too big and too aggressive keep in mind this fish only gets eight inches so fish that are too big it can backfire on it but you also don't want to keep the fish with fish that are actually smaller with it. This fish does get 8 inches, and as it ages, it will get more aggressive. Smaller fish like Neon Tetras, which I've seen a video on YouTube where this guy keeps it was either Neon Tetras or Cardinal Tetras, like a hundred of them, in a tank with two Jack Dempsey's, and they did fine. But I'm not going to recommend that. These fish are cichlids. They are, I'm going to classify them as semi-aggressive, but when they breed, just like angelfish, angelfish are semi-aggressive, but when they breed, they're going to get aggressive as hell. They will defend their nest. Uh, Jack Dempsey's are really good parents. Most cichlids are. And as in time, they're going to get better and better with each spawn. And when they get really good at it, they won't spawn again until their first batch is completely raised and their free swimming on their own can defend themselves. Electric Blue Jack Dempsey's are a beautiful tank mate. Um, keep in mind, these fish do get 8 inches. Some people say put them in a 40 gallon, 55. I would like to see these fish in a 10, uh, 75 gallon simply because of their sheer, the sheer size of the turnaround. These fish are kind of long, kind of tall, and kind of wide. So I would like to give a little turnaround. I would like to see it in a 55 and higher, mainly a 75, just because this fish needs its territory. And when they spawn, just like angelfish need their territory and other cichlids, when they spawn, they're going to get really aggressive and they're going to defend their territory no matter what. If it's life or death, they're going to defend it. Other than that, guys, Electric Blue Jack Dempsey is a beautiful fish. It takes other water parameters just like other cichlids. High water temperature, 72 and up to 82. Um, 75 ideally. Um, salinity is going to, I mean not salinity, that's salt water. pH is going to be around 6.5, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. This is Wayne with Wayne's Fish World.